If you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out my other videos. Uh, I made a song and I spent a long time making this song and I posted it like a week ago. You guys liked it a lot. It's got over 10K views, 500 likes. I was honestly really shocked. Check that out because if, if I become a rapper, understand this, I will be like, bro, top three, top two toughest rappers of all time. Other than Tyrone Woodley, bro, I don't know who I can't beat up, bro. I will beat up the baby. I will beat up Lil Baby. I will beat up, bro. Literally every, I will be the toughest rapper. Like, I will be the toughest rapper, okay? So, blow up that song so you can watch me fight your favorite rapper. Jumping right into this. In this video, I'm telling you guys how you can be a loser. All right, everything I tell you guys is like, took me real, real long to figure out, okay? Once I, once I realized this concept, it was like, wow, cut my losses in half. Cut, like, like, took away so many unnecessary losses. So when your coach is telling you, you need good hips, you need good hips, understand what he's like, understand what he means. Your hips and what comes beneath it, right? Your hips, your legs, your calves and your feet are the most, that is the engine that runs your body. That's the engine and transmission that runs your body, okay? So these are the most powerful tools you have but they're also the most vulnerable, okay? It, they're very powerful in that you can pick someone up and drop them with one leg. That's why in a stance, you keep one leg forward, one leg back, and you're always ready to bring this forward leg back, all right? That's how vulnerable your legs are and that's how powerful they are. You're willing to take the risk of having it be the closest thing to your opponent, but you need to be constantly ready to bring it as far away as possible at a moment because if he controls your leg, you are so vulnerable. Okay, he, he, it is so hard for you to do anything once he controls your leg and vice versa. Okay, now what does this mean? Obviously, you don't want anyone controlling your leg. No duh, Isaac, this is common sense. Understand that your leg is very vulnerable, but it's hard to grab anywhere except for at the very crotch, at the bend of the knee, and at the ankle, okay? When somebody grabs you at your hip, or your knee, in general, you know what I mean? It varies from situation to situation. Usually, I like to pull the grip up. I like to pull it up from my knee to in between my thigh and try and break it there. Or if it's in between my hip, I'll sit down and I'll try and pull it up or you can push it down. Basically, if it's between your foot and your knee or your knee and your hip, you want it to be more, you want the grip, the grip's easier to break when it's not on a joint. Does that make sense? The grip is easier to break when it's not on a joint. That being said, why is it like that, okay? On your joint, on your joint, there's, you can have a lot of grip. There's very little muscles pushing your actual, pushing your actual knee down, you know what I mean? Like, like once, your knee, once your knee is up in the air, it's very hard to muscle it down. But if they're in between your legs and your knee has some leverage, right? Your, your knee and your ankle and your hip, those are your leverage points. You don't want anyone taking control of your leverage points. Okay, so if they're in between the leverage points, they're, if they're in between, you know what I mean? They're grabbing right here, not right here. Like, say you're right here and you push their hand down, all of a sudden you can step your leg down. You have leverage. You understand what I'm saying? You like, So the big contact points are hip, knee, and foot. The worst to have controlled is your foot, okay? Your foot is what, get, that is the direct, that is like your, that, those are your wheels, okay? That, that is the most, like if your wheel goes out then you're really fucked like that that's like it's such a basic thing but it's such it's so so important you know what i mean you can have your engine running perfect transmission differential your brakes everything going perfect but if a wheel goes out if your foot can't touch the ground all of a sudden you can't make power from that side all right that's why it's so vulnerable that's why you need to know that so that if you see someone on the ground you want to do whatever you can to pick that foot up off the ground all right this is Really weird concept, you might have to watch this a couple times, I understand I'm rambling. Or your feet are, like, when someone has control of your foot, it's hard to regain control of it because there is so much friction with your shoe. You can literally hold on to someone's wrestling shoe basically all day, unless they do, unless they, like, they really try to break the grip. They're gonna control your foot all day because, like, there, there's just so much, like, it. It's right, like your foot is right at a bend, you know what I mean? You can grab right here and right here, pull it into you, you can like switch the grip, it's very thin. You wanna keep your feet away, as far away from your opponent as possible. All right, and make sure they stay on the mat. This is how you win matches. 
this is how this is all right you got to think of this drill this into your brain if you like that video hit the like button hit the subscribe button i post a video every day at nine check me out until next time i'll see you guys Peace.